let's understand about scalar and vector quantities now physical quantities have been divided into these two categories of scalar and vector a scalar quantity is something like you know length okay temperature okay distance etc the characteristic of a scalar quantity is that it's a physical quantity which is capable of being described by its magnitude or size completely so you say that the length is 5 meter you say the temperature is 38 degree celsius you say the distance is 2 kilometer so all these are scalar quantities because they can be expressed in magnitude of their own whether it be a kilometer it be a degree celsius or it be a meter okay so what we see here is that let's say you take 38 degree celsius the magnitude namely degree celsius is represented completely by the number 38 along with degree celsius okay as against this the vector quantities are the one which can be completely described only with respect to its magnitude and direction so let's say you have something like acceleration okay you have force okay so let's take an example of velocity again we have this beautiful car which has been helping us all throughout in physics so this car is moving okay at let's say 60 kilometers an hour but when we say velocity we also need to point out as to which direction it is going so let's say is going to north so we say the car is moving 60 kilometers per hour in north so both the magnitude which was also present here and the directions are necessary otherwise the velocity or the physical quantity that we are referring is insufficiently described 